the name of Allah, the most merciful and the most beneficent. Myself, Dr. Mamuna Azhar, by profession, I'm a physiotherapist and today I'm going to deliver a lecture on the subject of medical physics and we are going to study electrolysis. We started that topic in the last lecture where we have studied some of the definitions regarding electrolysis. So now we can easily understand the process of electrolysis. When direct current passes through electrolyte, chemical effects are produced and these chemical effects which are produced by passing that current the process would be known as electrolysis now in that process the electrolyte which is present for example this is a voltmeter in which two electrodes are present this one is anode having positive charge and this one is cathode having negative charge and inside these electrodes are partially dipped in an electrolyte. Now this electrolyte would be having different kind of properties. Electrolytes would be considered of two types. Strong electrolyte and weak electrolyte. What are strong electrolytes and what are weak electrolytes? Strong electrolytes are those electrolytes in which their molecules are being held together by electrovalent compound or electrovalent bond. For example, this side is for strong electrolyte. And this side is for weak electrolyte. The strong electrolyte would have electrovalent or ionic bonding. While the weak electrolyte, it would be having covalent bonding. What other property they both constitute? The other property is the strong electrolyte gives more ion. It provides more ion while the weak electrolyte gives or provides few ions. Now how these ions are produced? When current passes through it, chemical changes occur in this solution. And these electrolytes which are present in the form of molecules, they will break down themselves, they will dissociate themselves and convert into ions. When they are converted into positive and negative ions, accordingly they will attract the, cathode, the electrodes which are present inside. So this is the process which actually happens in here and we can name strong electrolyte and weak electrolyte. Now the example for strong electrolyte is sodium chloride which is known as NaCl. Sodium chloride which, which is when added into water, it will dissociate into sodium positive and chlorine negative. Sodium positive and chlorine negative and H2O will be present inside which will dissociate into H positive and OH negative. The basic thing to remember is both weak and strong electrolyte when put into water they will have their more apparent properties than they are having than they are present in any other solution. So this was the example and this was the explanation regarding electrolysis. In the next lecture, we will learn about the migration of ions, how it occurs into the process of electrolysis. Thank you very much.